I'm delighted to welcome Dr. Tom Johnson from Bristol University Hospital in the UK to your PCR 2022. Yeah. So I'm Jan McLeod and I have a few questions about the latest data from the Light Lab Clinical Initiative. This initiative looks at the systematic use of OCT in the cath lab. So please can you explain about Light Lab and provide some details about the study design? So this was actually a really exciting US initiative for which I'm simply an observer, but it was undertaken in 12 sites in the US uh, and involved a field technician from Abbott actually spending time in the cath lab, initially capturing some baseline data around their angio guided practice. And then importantly, uh, training the investigators within each of the 12 sites on uh, the Light Lab OCT MLD Max workflow. And then beyond that, really assessing how that workflow impacted on their clinical practice, particularly in terms of the accuracy and the decision making involved in their PCI. And then there was a need to consider how that workflow was utilised and and really looking at ways of optimising really the efficiency of adopting this practice. And then beyond that, the hope that they could expand that workflow to more complex activity, so uh, complex bifurcation, chronic total occlusion, multivessel uh, disease procedures. The important reflection just from this baseline data, I, I think, is the fact that where historically the imaging based presentations have come from believers and experts, actually it's really good to see that these 12 sites had relatively limited um, exposure to imaging prior to embarking on the initiative. So we see a median uh, case number of 25 Im imaging cases a year. See, there were some very expert uh, users in excess of 100 procedures a year, but you see a very significant proportion using it very infrequently in their daily practice. So the MLD Max approach is, a, is an important one, actually fits with my practice of using imaging from the very beginning to the end of a procedure. It's broken into two parts. The MLD is in the pre-PCI phase, uh, the M being for morphology, and so really uh, acknowledging and identifying calcification with a view to then maybe uh, taking more aggressive approaches to modify non-compliant balloon IVL rotablation. The L and the D are for length and diameter, so now actually focusing upon finding an appropriate landing zone uh, away from significant burden of disease and then making an accurate assessment of uh, vessel diameter either by external elastic membrane or lumen. And then the second element is the optimization, having deployed the stents, uh, looking at the M, which is medial dissection, acknowledging apposition, malapposition of more than uh, 300 micron, and then looking at stent expansion, the most important really of the aspects uh, to, to ensure that the stent is adequately uh, expanded to, to the vessel. And so what we found through uh, this process, in fact, is that you know, the pre-PCI element to, to the imaging had the most impact. So over 80% uh, of change was made in um, this setting, particularly identification of calcification and adoption of, of vessel preparation approaches, but then importantly, taking slightly longer and larger stents. And then in the post-PCI, uh, the optimization phase, we saw particularly this uh, increase in uh, need to uh, enhance stent expansion. So again, around about 30% increment uh, made through this part of the algorithm. So that overall, almost nine in 10 cases had, had, had change. Now, I think, you know, one of the potential reasons for people avoiding uh, the use of imaging is the excess time spent and then particularly the, you know, the risk of you know, increased exposure to radiation, fluoro, and then particularly contrast. And what's really interesting from the data presented by Kevin Croce is we see, in fact, with the use of angio co-registration, a reduction in radiation exposure, a normal uh, equivalent fluoro uh, exposure time. But most importantly, actually, the contrast volume was the same. And this highlights this you know, proficiency of approach of, of embedding imaging into your acquisitions for angiography through a procedure, which has very limited uh, impact on uh, the patient exposure. 
we can see that really through the adoption of the MLD Max algorithm, uh, a significant impact on our uh, PCI practice, particularly the decision making in the pre PCI uh, phase of, of our intervention. And I think then when comparing this against an angio guided approach, we see importantly a similar contrast uh, volume use and fluoro time. And in fact, interestingly, with the adoption of co-registration, a reduction in total radiation exposure, both to operator and patient. Thank you so much for joining with us today and uh, sharing your thoughts on the Light Lab initiative. Thank you. Thanks, John.